Hi there welcome to Only Sports TV. Once again it's game time for NBA Western Conference Finals Game 3, between LA Clippers and Phoenix Suns. Please subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos to come. So here it goes. LA Clippers dropped the two opening of Western Conference Finals playoffs games in Phoenix, it seems the Clippers have followed its semifinals formula, and then took Game 3. Phoenix Suns and LA Clippers played a close first half. George pumped up the Clippers going into the locker room with a thunderous one-handed dunk. Paul George scored 27 points and the Los Angeles Clippers pulled away in a dominant third quarter, beating newly returned Chris Paul and the Phoenix Suns on Thursday night in Game 3 of the Western Conference Finals. LA Clippers, Zubik is the first Clipper with a double-double in the first half of a postseason game since DeAndre Jordan on April 30, 2017, against Utah. LA Clippers controlled throughout 21-3 spurt that left them leading 71-56 in the third and up to fourth quarter. Though the Suns cut what was an 18-point lead to as little as six early in the fourth quarter, the Clippers surged back in front and there was little drama as time wound down. Devin Booker picked up his third and fourth fouls in a 42-second span during the Clippers' run. Booker, wearing a clear mask to protect his nose that required stitches after he and Patrick Beverly banged heads in Game 2, was 5 of 21 from the field making only one of seven three-point tries, and finished with 15 points. Jay Crowder, who assisted on DeAndre Ayton's winning dunk on Tuesday, fouled out with 4.51 remaining. He had 9 points, 6 rebounds and 6 assists but it fell short. Tyron Lu said our guys keep grinding, keep fighting, LA Clippers we never give in. Kahi Leonard remained out with a right knee sprain, leaving George to carry the load again. After missing two crucial free throws in a one-point loss in Game 2, George had 15 rebounds and 8 assists and played a game-high 43 minutes. He made 6 of 7 free throws. Also as per coach Tyrone Liu. Paul George did a great job of just moving on and having a great game for us. The Suns got Chris Paul back after he missed the first two games while being sidelined since June 16th because of the NBA's health and safety protocols. The former Clipper, who was booed heartily during intros, had 15 points and 12 assists, but was 5 of 19 from the field. Cameron Payne, who so ably filled in for Paul in the first two games, went down with a left ankle injury after playing four minutes and didn't return. Suns coach Monty Williams said he played Paul too much in his first game back. Probably got tired, Williams said, but it hurt us when Cam couldn't come back so I left Chris out there for a longer stretch and that's on me. DeAndre Ayton led the Suns with 18 points. The Suns were just 35 of 90 from the floor, despite getting decent looks. We weren't sound at all, Coach Williams said. They played good defense, but we didn't run our offense the way that we have been running for most of the playoffs. Western Conference Finals Game 4 scheduled 6 p.m. at Staples Center Saturday. Noticeable player performance of the game. LA Clippers, Paul George. With 27 points, 15 rebounds and 8 assists, leading the Clippers to its Western Conference Finals first win. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos to come.